Today, we're diving into Canada's $11 billion clean energy extravaganza, the Site C Clean Energy Project. It's a mega project so massive, it could make a polar bear do a double take. Picture this, a future where our power comes from the most renewable source known to humanity, without breaking the polar ice caps. So grab your maple syrup flavored popcorn and get ready to explore the future of Canadian power. Let's plunge into the hydropowered wonderland that is the Site C Clean Energy Project. Situated in the breathtakingly beautiful province of British Columbia, Canada Site C is more than just your average dam. It's a clean energy powerhouse. Picture the Peace River winding its way through the stunning Rocky Mountains. That's where you'll find it, nestled in the Peace River Valley. Now, why all the fuss about Site C? Well, let me break it down for you. This mega project isn't just about generating electricity, it's about powering dreams and aspirations for a greener future. With its colossal size, Site C is proudly wearing the badge of the fourth largest dam in all of Canada. This hydropowered marvel stands at an impressive height of 60 meters, equivalent to the height of a 20 story building, and stretches over an impressive length of 83 kilometers. Picture the Peace River widening by two to three times its average width as the reservoir takes shape. And get this, it has the potential to light up a whopping 450,000 homes with clean, renewable energy. But the impact doesn't stop there. With a capacity of 1,100 megawatts and an expected annual output of 4,600 gigawatt hours of electricity, Site C is poised to revolutionize British Columbia's energy landscape. Imagine the water level rising between 30 centimeters and 3 meters each day as the reservoir fills, ultimately reaching a depth of 52 meters near the dam, 36 meters at Halfway River, and 18 meters near Hudson's Hope. The reservoir will cover an impressive 5,550 hectares of land, with a total surface area of about 9,330 hectares. That's no small feat. From the intricate engineering designs to the logistical challenges of managing such a vast area, the construction team has faced it all, yet they've persevered. Driven by the vision of a greener, more sustainable future, as cranes tower over the landscape and concrete pours into place, Site C is clean. But let's rewind a bit and delve into the historical roots of hydropower in the Great White North. Canada has been riding the hydropower wave for quite some time now, with large-scale dams playing a pivotal role in shaping the country's energy landscape. From coast to coast, these mammoth structures have been harnessing the power of flowing water to keep the lights on and the coffee brewing. And why is hydropower such a big deal, you ask? Well, besides being a source of awe-inspiring engineering feats, it's also a key player in the fight against climate change. By ditching dirty fossil fuels in favor of clean, renewable energy sources like hydropower, Canada is making strides in slashing greenhouse gas emissions and paving the way towards a more sustainable future. The Site C Clean Energy Project didn't just pop up overnight. It's been years in the making, with a rigorous planning and approval process, environmental assessments, consultations with indigenous communities, and regulatory approvals were all part of the puzzle. The government's rationale for pursuing such a monumental project was clear – to bolster clean energy infrastructure and reduce reliance on fossil fuels. But it wasn't all smooth sailing. Challenges arose during the planning stages, from concerns about environmental impact to debates over economic viability. Fast forward to today, and the construction at the Site C dam site is in full swing. Milestones have been reached, and progress is palpable. But let's not downplay the sheer magnitude of this endeavor. Building one of Canada's largest infrastructure projects is no small feat. From intricate engineering designs to logistical hurdles, the construction team has faced it all. Yet, they've persevered, driven by the vision of a greener, more sustainable future. As cranes tower over the landscape and concrete pours into place, Site C is clean. The Site C Clean Energy Project isn't just about generating electricity, it's about navigating the delicate balance between progress and preservation. Concerns about its environmental impact have been front and center, with experts carefully assessing its effects on local ecosystems, wildlife habitats, and water quality. But fear not, environmental warriors, mitigation measures, and environmental management strategies have been put in place to minimize harm and preserve biodiversity. 
From wildlife corridors to water quality monitoring, every effort is being made to ensure that the natural beauty of the Peace River Valley remains intact. Yet, the project's ripple effects extend beyond the environment. Indigenous communities, landowners, and residents in the surrounding area are grappling with the social implications of Site C. Land rights, cultural heritage, and the displacement of communities due to dam construction have sparked heated debates and raised valid concerns. The project's impact on Indigenous people in particular has been a focal point with calls for meaningful consultation and accommodation echoing through the region. As bulldozers carve their way through the landscape, the Site C Clean Energy Project serves as a stark reminder of the complex interplay between progress and preservation of our planet and its people. The Site C Clean Energy Project presents a significant opportunity to revolutionize British Columbia's energy landscape. By harnessing the power of the Peace River, it promises to deliver a reliable source of clean electricity to meet the ever-growing demands of high households, businesses, and industries in the province. With the capacity to power approximately 450,000 homes, Site C plays a crucial role in diversifying the energy mix and reducing reliance on fossil fuels. Moreover, its contribution to Canada's transition to a low-carbon economy cannot be overstated, as it helps mitigate the greenhouse gas emissions and combat climate change on a regional and national scale. However, amidst its promising potential lie a myriad of challenges and controversies. Legal battles, cost overruns, and concerns about economic viability have plagued the project since its inception. Opponents argue that the environmental and social costs outweigh the benefits and question whether the project aligns with sustainable development goals in the long run. Additionally, indigenous communities have voiced grievances over land rights and cultural heritage, further fueling the debate. As stakeholders grapple with these complexities, the Site C Clean Energy Project stands at a crossroads, facing scrutiny and uncertainty on its path towards realizing its intended benefits. The Site C Clean Energy Project is on track for completion, with projections indicating that it will begin generating electricity shortly. While exact timelines may vary, the dam is anticipated to be operational within the next few years, bringing with it a host of potential economic, environmental, and social impacts. Economically, the project has the potential to stimulate job growth, attract investment, and bolster their local economies. Environmentally, it promises to reduce greenhouse gas emissions and contribute to cleaner air and water. Socially, it may provide a stable energy supply, enhance infrastructure, and foster community development. However, challenges such as cost overruns and environmental concerns persist, highlighting the need for continued vigilance and responsible stewardship as we navigate towards a future powered by Site C. Clean Energy Project represents a significant step towards a cleaner, more sustainable future for Canada. As we anticipate its completion and operation, we must remain vigilant in balancing its potential benefits with the challenges and controversies it entails. From economic growth to environmental stewardship, the impacts of Site C are far-reaching and multifaceted. We appreciate your engagement with this important topic. Now, here's a question to ponder. What do you think is the most important factor to consider when evaluating large-scale energy projects like Site C? Comment below with your thoughts, and let's keep the conversation going.